Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five games from 2017, and these games do not have to be released in 2017. Only one game on the list actually was released in 2017, but these are just my top played games of 2017 that got me through the awful year of 2017 gaming-wise. So yeah, here is how I survived 2017. So game number five is The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I definitely got back into this game. I played it when it came out on PlayStation, then played it some more on PC, and I've just always kind of played this game, like, in spurts. But I got back into modding this year, and got back into modding that. Now, modding on it has gotten harder since playing it. Elder Scrolls has gone down, so you only have half the mods to choose from on Nexus mods. You don't have both websites. But still, I had a lot of fun put tons of hours into a new game, beat it, did all that, played all the DLC, modded it some, and just had a blast with it. So yeah, that's my fifth best game of 2017 that I played. Game number four is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This game is another game that I got back into playing and replayed it because I had never played the DLC on it. Um, so yeah, I've played through the entire game now, put tons of hours into it, played through one of the DLC, and I still need to do Blood and Wine, which is the larger DLC. It's an absolutely massive DLC. It basically could be a standalone game. But yeah, I need to play Blood and Wine still. But yeah, I put a ton of hours into that game. And yeah, it's great. And I would recommend it to anybody. And yeah, it's number four on my list of games. <clears throat> and for those of you that don't know, The Witcher is kind of like an open world RPG like. I don't really want to call it an RPG because you don't get to play as your own character. You play as Geralt no matter what. But you kind of decide how Geralt decides things. And yeah. I would kind of consider it an RPG, although not fully since you don't create your own special character. Um, you always play as Geralt. But yeah, definitely an amazing open world game with tons of options. There are 36 possible endings to the game, and that kind of makes it great because there are kind of very few spoilers that you can say because everybody's game is kind of different and how they choose to do things. And I think that's really cool and the game is definitely special when it comes to the area of choices and everything. It's probably one of the most extensive games when it comes to the possible outcomes throughout the game. And the next game on our list I will not talk too much about because I really want you guys to go play it and I don't want to spoil anything, but it is Doki Doki Literature Club. Now this is not the normal kind of game that I play. I don't generally find the um, visual novel like slash dating simulator games that much fun, but this game is hardly that. It is only that in the beginning and then the game goes somewhere else and that somewhere else is the reason why you should play this game. It is one of the most critically acclaimed psychological horror games on Steam and yeah, comes from a small indie studio and they did an amazing job on the game and I would definitely recommend it and it definitely deserves to be number three on my list. Game number two is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and this is the one game that was released in 2017, and it is an amazing game. It's one of the best-selling games of all time, and that kind of explains for itself. It is a battle royale game where you play, it's one versus 99, um, free for all, and you play until one person wins, and yeah, it's just a blast to play. It gets your heart pumping whenever you get down to the top five and you're trying to survive trying to win that game but yeah it's an adrenaline rush and yeah i love the game it's very well made and i'm excited to see where they go in the future since it is kind of such a new game since its initial release wasn't that long ago from me filming this video um, but it has been in early access for a while and i've played it almost since it came out um, but i've been playing it for a while put over 100 hours into it and yeah it's been super fun and i definitely would recommend the game to anybody who wants that adrenaline rush of massive free-for-all combat in a battle royale setting. And my number one game that I played in 2017 was definitely Icy. Icy is an amazing game. It's a um, kind of 2D side-scrolling fighter game, um, but it also incorporates a lot of like story elements that I find similar to like the Stanley Parable and yeah, it's just, it's a really cool game, and it's really hard to explain, but I would definitely recommend that you get the game and try it yourself. It is a pretty cheap game on Steam, and I would definitely recommend playing it with a controller, um, just because it's a much better experience playing on controller than on keyboard and mouse. But I got the game in a bundle with my Steam Link, which was super cheap, and I was mainly getting it for the Steam Link, but I ended up playing the game and really liking it. Like, it, it deserves my number one spot on my list. Um, I've gotten every achievement for the game and completed all the hidden endings and things throughout the game to just totally 100% the game. And it actually didn't take too long, which is kind of cool, 
Um, but yeah, it is a cheap game, so I didn't expect it to be super long, but for a short game, it is really good, and I would definitely recommend it, and it deserves the number one spot on this list. So, if you liked any of these games and want to get them, I will have links to their Steam pages down below so that you can click on those and find the game on Steam. Um, and then if you want to find it anywhere else, just search for it, but I'm only going to link the Steam versions because that's what I play all my games on, so... Yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you like the content on this channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you have comments about games that you thought should have been on this list, um, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below, even though this is my list. So it's the games that I've played, but still, maybe it'll refresh my mind and I'll be like, oh yeah, I should have put that on my list. But these are the games that I thought of to put on the list. So I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, oh.